Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little while, especially a sit down video. I'm just going to get some apologies in there first of all. First apology is the lighting. It is not fantastic. It's kind of late at the moment and this is the only chance I could get a moment to sit down and film this video. Apologies number two, Lucy is in a mood and she's running around so if you hear her screaming or she encroaches on this video, sorry. It is fantastic when you're nine months pregnant. Not. So I'm rocking a huge belly and some swollen feet but we're gonna get through this because this video is gonna be awesome. I've teamed up with a fantastic bunch of mummies, Australian vlogging mummies. They are amazing, each and every one of them. And we have put together an ultimate Australian mummy tag for you here today. They are all doing it, so I'm gonna list all of their channels down below. So please, 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 please go check them out because they are fantastic and we want to support the Aussie vloggy mums out there. So make sure you go visit their channel. If you're coming from my channel and you find someone you love, share the love, say hi, tell them that you've come over from my channel. And if you are new to my channel, you've come over from one of these awesome, fabulous ladies I have listed below, say hi. And yeah, introduce yourselves because I love our little family we have here on YouTube. And yeah, it's exciting, but this intro is getting super long. I have a few questions, Australian inspired questions to get through. So let's just jump into it. And I'll probably be looking on my phone because all the questions are on my phone. So bear with me. Okay, so first question is Vegemite or Promite? Definitely Vegemite, I hate Promite. Even the smell of Promite, it, it like, smells like vomit, I don't know. Oh. But I'm definitely, definitely a veggie my girl. Neighbours or home and away? And if you are not Australian, these are soap TV shows. To be honest, I don't watch either of them. I grew up on home and away, like my mum watched home and away. And I watch bits of Neighbours. If I had a preference out of the two, I'd probably choose home and away. But I haven't watched either one of those shows for years and years and years. Woolies or Coles? I would definitely say Coles. Coles is cheaper. Well, in my opinion, they are. I have find them cheaper. I'm really lucky that I live down the road from a massive Coles supermarket that's always well stocked and quiet and easy accessible and easy parking. And it's just generally awesome. So that's where I tend to shop. And plus I also use flybys and I get discounts. What's one thing about raising kids in Australia that you love? I think the main thing is our lifestyle. It's just super laid back, super cruisy. Our kids get to play outside in the beautiful sun, I, especially where I live in far north Queensland. We're accessible so much. You know, we've got the Great Barrier Reef, the rainforest, the beaches. And I think those are just opportunities and places and experiences that I don't think every kid gets to experience. So, um,. I really love that. I love that about Australia. Um, I love our attitude. I love our multiculturalism. Uh, I think that kids in Australia get it pretty good and I think we're extremely lucky. Is there anything you would want to change about Australia for your children's future? I think just probably even more acceptance, especially um, with the whole gay marriage uh, plebiscite coming up and I think that would be awesome if Australia moved forward in that direction and allowed gay marriage and more acceptance of you know different people um how they want to live their lives who they want to love I don't think that's up to us to judge and it would be even more fantastic if our kids got to grow up in even more accepting society than what Australia already is what do you wish Australia had that other countries do? Hmm. I don't know. I'm a I'm a pop culture like fanatic. I love collecting things. So maybe more collectible than a more reasonable price. Uh I don't know. There's nothing I super envy about other countries. Maybe their food. I don't know, but Australia is like super multicultural, so we've got heaps of like every country's food. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything 
one particular thing that I super envy about other countries that I was Australian in. Maybe a Disneyland. That's it. That's my answer. I want myself a Disneyland in Australia. Yep. See? I get there in the end. What's your favourite city, town or holiday spot? I love holiday in Melbourne. I'm from far north Queensland, so going to like a really cool urban city that actually has a winter. I know that Melbourne people might not like their winter, but it's definitely a nice change for me. My, I've also got family that live in Melbourne, so um, I love holidaying there. I like shopping and I quite enjoy the cold. And yeah, Melbourne, Melbourne's a nice holiday spot. Because I live in the tropics and I probably live in a holiday spot, I like to go the opposite you know we've got beaches and great barrier reef and the rainforest and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of nice to go along that urban route um, if you had a choice would you continue to live in australia or we could ask what is your heritage i i love australia i don't plan on ever moving from australia and actually i love where we live so i don't have any plans and we don't have any plans what's in my eye um to move anytime soon or to anywhere different because we're pretty lucky where we live. Um, in terms of my heritage, my grandmother in in is English. Uh, she migrated from England when she was very young on the boat. Uh, my grandfather is mostly Aboriginal, half Aboriginal. So uh, my mum, I think, has like Irish and Scottish in her. I'm just a whole mix. I'm like a salad. I've just got a bit of everything in me. So in terms of heritage, yeah, I'm just, I'm a mixture. Or uh, not Australian unless you went to school without shoes on. Maybe that's just like an age thing, not so much an Australian thing because I went to school never wearing shoes. And yeah, that used to blow people's mind. Um, I don't think you're Australian unless you use some kind of Aussie lingo. I think Australians are quite famous for their abbreviations of things um, and the way we talk, although I don't feel like I sound very Australian. Um, when I went overseas, no one used to pick up my accent. They all thought I was English, so I don't know. Yeah, that one's a hard one. I can't think of anything else. That's a hard one. I should have probably read these questions before like I answered them and I had some of an idea. Like I'm just reading them and this is like off the cuff. This is not rehearsed at all, people. Okay, 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 moving on. How do you spend stray day? We make a hot breakfast and usually go down to the beach. That's usually how we play a stray day. How we play a stray day, how we do a stray day. And of course, beers. I feel like you can't have a stray day without some Australian beer. Fave Aussie movie. I am a horror fan and I totally loved. Um, I loved Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek. Uh, I thought that was fantastic and probably that movie about the family that lives next to the satellite dish. What was that called? Yeah, let's just go with Wolf Creek because I can't remember the name of that other movie. Oh, Priscilla Queen of the Desert was awesome. Like, that's Australian. Yeah, yeah, come on, Cara, that's Australian. Um, fave Aussie celebrity musician and why? I'd probably go musicians. Um, I don't know what your class is in Aussie celebrity. Like, is that just actors? I don't know. But I'm gonna go with musician. I I love Aussie hip hop. Like, I love Aussie hip hop. I know, totally looks like I do, hey. Um, but yes, I love Hilltop Hoods and I love Seth Century. And yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome. They're super talented and I love them. I'm go with that. Which Aussie celeb are you sick of hearing about in the media? To be honest, I'm I'm not one of those people that read those magazines or watch a lot of media stuff around celebrities. It, it just doesn't interest me. So I can't really comment on that because I don't even know. Are they talking about anyone in particular that's Australian? Oh my God, I'm terrible. Yeah, I just don't. I don't follow that, although I'm on social media a lot, but not in terms of following celebrities. That just doesn't interest me. So um, I can't really answer that one. Okay, favorite typically Australian pastime? Laying on the beach, relaxing, having a barbecue with your family. 
I think. Having a barbecue, having sharing beers, having a laugh, being on the beach or being outdoors in general, by a creek, spending time with family, eating yum food. I reckon that's pretty Australian. Um, favorite Aussie slang word or phrase? I like flat out like a lizard drinking. I, yeah, I don't know why, but, or um, let's blow this popsicle scanned. I'm pretty sure that's an Australian slang phrase, isn't it? And flat out like a lizard drinking. What else do we tend to use a lot in this household? Let's blow this popsicle stand. Um, I don't know. Luke's really good at it. He always pulls out those like crazy Australian one line phrases. But I use the lizard one a lot. Favorite Aussie animal? Wombats. I love wombats. Wombats are freaking awesome. Like, they're like this big fat nugget of fur. Like, Wombats, they're awesome. Favorite Australian children's book? It will either be Wombat Stew, because hello, Wombats are awesome, or Possum Magic, because Possum Magic is actually fantastic. That book is, yeah, that's awesome. Favorite brand of nappies? I'm gonna go Comfy Bots from Coles. We've always used them with Lucy. We've had no leakages, and I find, and they're super. Oh my god, all I can hear is Lucy's. Yeah, can I cuddle you in a minute? Okay, I'm gonna have to let the child in. This mummy's trying to film a video. Do you wanna come say hi to everyone? Yes. Come say hi? Mm -hmm. Can you see little Lucy there? Is that loose? Yeah. You say hi, you give everyone a wave. Hi! Okay, you're gonna sit down so mummy can finish? Yeah. yeah. Favorite family meal would be probably zucchini pea pesto pasta. The whole family loves it, I love it, Luke loves it, and the kids absolutely love it. And it literally has like five ingredients, takes 10 minutes to make. So it literally takes 10 minutes to make, and it's awesome. It's like pasta, a jar of pesto, or you can make it yourself, but I'm lazy. Jar of pesto, like frozen peas, shredded zucchini, onion, garlic, cheese to top it off with pasta. So yes, that was the ultimate Aussie mum tag. So again, make sure you go check out all the other videos and all the other awesome Aussie mummy vloggers out there. And yeah, and as I said in the beginning, if you are new, say hi. And I'm gonna catch you all guys in my next video. Bye.